So we're going to do a walk around inspection, show you the lights, startup, and a test drive on this gorgeous, very original 1979 Ford LTD2. This car comes to us reported to be an all original car, uh, down to the original spare tire. But original paint, original interior, original drivetrain. And I've looked the car over, I can't find any signs of paint work done to the car. There's no signs of any metal work done. The bottom side of this car is extremely clean. And you gotta look at those pictures. This, this car is just as nice top to bottom. And it's reported that it is original miles. And when we get to the interior, we'll look at that. I know it's under 50,000 on the odometer. But, and the condition of the car really lends to those being the original miles. But, so we'll go around the car. The original black paint is in excellent condition. Uh, there are a couple minor flaws. We'll go around and we'll show you those. <clears throat> but for the age of the car, and the age of this paint, it's 53 years old. No, 43 years old. 43 years old. <clears throat> anyway, it's in excellent condition. Well above average. Uh, so we'll start going around. There's very little very little orange peel. Uh, it looks like a factory paint job. All of the chrome and stainless on this car is in very good condition. Front bumper, excellent condition. The chrome around the headlights, and the front grille. It's all very good to excellent condition. Turn signal lenses are clear and free of cracks. And even the the extensions to the bumper, we got some dirt there, but extensions to the bumper are in good condition. They're pliable, they're not all dry rotted and cracked. We got the, the factory mag wheels uh, wrapped in Cooper Cobra radials. We do have a paint touch up here. As Tyler's showing you there. Glass here on the windshield and the side glass is in excellent condition. The stainless around the windows is in very good, very good condition. And even the stainless across the bottom on the rockers is above average condition. It's in very good condition. The bottom of the doors are in excellent condition, what you would expect a factory painted car. Of course, no filler has not been painted, but the door panels in excellent condition. This interior overall is in excellent condition. And I'm not offhand remembering any flaws, but if there is, we'll find it and we'll point it out. But Front seat, back seat, the headliner, it's all in excellent condition. The carpet is nice and deep red. Excellent condition, the dash, no cracks. There is a small chip in the paint there. I know down here behind the drive tire, there's quite a bit of stone chips back here, right behind the drive tire. Here on the deck lid, I'm not sure if they had a maybe a CB antenna on the car. Kind of looks that's what it reminds me of. There's a flaw there. Rear bumper is in excellent condition. The stainless Ford emblem. Is in excellent condition. The Dan Beck <laughs> sticker. But and I can't swear by that tire being the original spare tire, but it is an old Uniroyal steel belted tire. But the jack is there, the jack stand, the lug wrench, 
but it's an air freshener. But I mean, in the truck compartment, very unmolested. See no no metal work done in the quarters. Even this original cardboard covering for the fill neck on your gas tank. You know, that's usually dry rotted and gone. But this paint is just, overall, it's in excellent condition of those minor flaws that we pointed out. There is some minor chips around the wheel well there. Driver's side, driver's side glass is in excellent condition. Driver's door panel is in excellent condition. Just overall excellent interior. All the doors open and close just as they should. No sagging. Now on the windshield, there is one small stone chip there towards the bottom. And I know on this fender, we've got about an inch and a half scratch between my fingers there. And we've got one real minor ding and then about a three quarter inch scratch there. But other than that, that paint body is straight. Pop the hood. I'll fire up this very original 302 with factory air, power steering, power brakes. Get that fired up and show you some lights working. the other camera and do a test drive. Well, here we are. I'm going to start that test drive of that gorgeous original 1979 Ford LTD2. Mm -hmm. And I tell you that well, the car, like we talked about in the inspection, the odometer is showing right at 48,000 miles. I'm going to turn that AC on a little bit here while we're driving. Which the AC does work. It blows cool. It does take a little bit of time to get to get going, produce some cool, but it does work. So this the factory 302 starts right up just like it should. Real well, easy. Very easy. Transmission shifts extremely smooth. I mean, the car just, it operates, it drives. Even in the cabin, it sounds like, you know, a 48,000 mile car. Yeah. And it feels like a car that hasn't been apart. I mean, it's nice and quiet on the cabin. Like, your seals are all good. I mean, it's, 
straight yeah. down the road, hands off the steering wheel. If you've ever ridden or driven one of these late 70s big full-size Fords or Lincolns, I mean, you know they just ride like cream puffs. Oh, yeah. They're just extremely comfortable cars. So on this LTD, it's got that those cool 70s uh, LTD stripes. Two stripes. That uh, I mean, it just the curb appeal of this car is just oh yeah incredible. Those stripes paired with the uh, mags, I mean, they just it gives this LTD a kind of a muscle car look that it just kind of was lacking. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a and it's just. It's a phenomenal example. I mean, this oh, absolutely. It has to be one of the cleanest, unrestored examples out there. Oh, yeah. Of a 79 LTD. I mean, top to bottom, this car just it screams original, and it, it's just it's insanely solid. Yeah. I mean, just driving it, it just, you know, 50 miles per hour, we're just driving. Yeah. I mean, it's... Effortless. Yeah. That's Even with that 302, I mean, it... This cruise, I mean, it's not a rocket ship by any stretch of the imagination, but the 302 is tight, has no problem pulling the car down the road. 60 miles per hour coming up to the stop, stop line. And it just runs like a sewing machine, just nice and quiet and smooth. It does. It does. So, and we'll go through uh, what works and what doesn't work. The turn signal and indicator lights were the factory tag, which is yeah, pretty car's rare. Got pre, the car's got a pretty nice gauge package for an LTD. Yeah, I mean, the factory tag in an LTD that yeah, that's pretty rare. Absolutely, we don't see that very often, and it works properly. Mm -hmm. uh, speedometers working, all the gauges work oil, pressure, temperature gauge charging except for the clock the fuel gauge works the clock is not working um, the remote driver or passenger side mirror works um, it's remote, got both yeah remote yeah. mirrors i mean the car is very nicely optioned am fm stereo wipers work wipers work i mean ac stereo works very well that radio works now, the only thing that I know of that, well, besides the clock, that doesn't work, I do not believe that the cruise control works. Once we get around this corner here, we'll... Yeah, we can test that out. Test the cruise control. I believe you're right. But beautiful. I mean, the interior of this car is in excellent condition. The Almost factory... Airman. Yeah, it's... it's extremely nice. <laughs> it is. Absent of wear. I mean, even the seat. I mean, it's a cloth seat, and it's just... Well, the steering wheel. Oh, yeah. If, if there was anything, you know what? No. Cruise control is not. Just a big car holding its speed. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's slowing down now. But the steering wheel has very, very little wear. I mean, these and these these faux wood inserts that oh, yeah. Ford did, they always wore out prematurely. The plastic at the top always like to warp, and that one's... Yeah, the steering Real wheel clean. is in very good condition. All the interior chrome is in excellent condition. And this car's unmolested. I mean, yeah. it's a factory Ford stereo. I mean, the headliner is in excellent condition. There's no changes that have been made. I know that light works when the door's open. Yeah. yeah, the dome. Yeah, I think the. The map lights are not working, but the dome light works. But so yeah, I mean even the trunk light works when you open the trunk. I mean yeah, I think the buzzer, uh, the door jar works. I know the seat belt, no, the seat belt light does not work. But you know, really I, trying everything now. <laughs> yeah, trying everything, but just an absolutely excellent example one of these 70s Ford LTDs and it looks awesome. I mean, yeah oh yeah this car is like for an LTD is dripping in curb appeal I mean you go to a cruise and this car is gonna grab your attention it's gonna go oh, yeah. anybody walking by is gonna want to actually pay attention to a late 70s LTD so in this market this the large luxury vehicles are hot in the market right now they are if you're looking for one 
but you want something a little bit different, something sportier, kind of a muscle car look to it, this two-door LTD, you know, fits a lot of bills, and it's an excellent example. And extremely nicely optioned. Yeah. So check it out. Rock Solid Motorsports.